Hey guys, so it is time for another organization vlog. Um, I'm picking up where I left off last time. I have cat hair stuck on my face. Oh my god. Also, thank god for this beautiful camera filter. Um, I'm going through the retinol uglies hard today. So, <laughs> lovely. Um, so, picking up where I left off with the last vlog, I had to cut it short because there was so much footage. Um, so, we're going to get straight into powders, which is what I tackled after I finished my lipstick drawer. Um, and we're also going to do some palettes in this video, um, along with like blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. A lot of the palette footage is out of focus. I'm really sorry, but it's kind of hard because you know you're focused on one thing you're not watching the camera um hopefully it's sort of watchable i'm sorry i can't redo it it's done Okay, time to tackle single shadows and pigments and stuff like that. Um, okay, I wouldn't mind seeing if I can. Oh, is that too much noise for you, little one? see what I can do with this. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? What are you doing? There's nothing in there. <laughs> I need to put things in there now. Come on. Yes, you're very fucking cute. But you are so insanely in the way. Oh, that's a boy. Good boy. Okay, so look, I love how this is currently looking. It's so organized. It just like brings me great joy, but it's not going to work because I can't see the products. Um, like I don't know what anything is. I have to pull them all out to see what's what. Um, the pigments, like the Inglot pigments and stuff, I've always stored them on their side like this. It's so annoying because they roll around, but it's the only way you can really 
see what something is. If you store it upside down, you can't really, you can't tell what color it is. So they're going to stay on their sides. This I have to sadly just not, that's a no. That's a no. So uh, what I might do is play with some more partition board. Or <laughs> careful of your tooties. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, wait, wait, oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, that, not that you can tell because there's a very large bloody rodent, you're basically a rodent right now, you're a pest. Um, the <laughs> you're trying to bite me, you're being so naughty. Um, this actually fits really well. Can we show them what's happening? Why do you have to be in there? <laughs> You're out. Are you stuck? Oh my god. Are you stuck or are you just being... No, you're actually quite... <laughs> you are so funny. Get out the way. Get out the way, baby. This way, this stuff fits like a glove and it's like it's in there it's not gonna move around so I'm actually gonna make do with this and see what I can sort out Oh my god, these fucking sugar pill ones. Why won't you fit nicely? Uh, I'm having a hard time with this drawer because uh, being like little loose items, I don't want them sliding around when I'm like opening and closing the drawer. So I'm trying to like give them all a home, but it's not ideal because I don't really want any of my eyeshadows stacked, but I don't know how else to really deal with it. Oh my god, how did I end up with two of them? It's 
Someone's going on us. Okay, I've been working on this drawer for way too long. Um, it's it's never going to be perfect, uh, but what I've got going on here will do. Um, I can see everything, and also I'm going to say this: I'm really pleased with myself um, that of all the sections of like my makeup. Um, collection I've really managed to keep my sort of single and individual shadows quite controlled um, I try not to buy single eyeshadows unless they're really really special so I'm pretty happy with this I'm gonna try and fix these stillers up where do I want you what are you doing hmm Can I make you fit? Not really. That'll do. I've taken all of my like blushes, bronzers, highlighters out of this drawer and I've opted to put them into a deeper drawer because um, I'll be able to stack them that way but they won't stack in the, uh, the shallow drawers. Oh, that has not survived destroying. Okay, I'm going to keep that out. This is annoying me so much. Why? All right, that's highlighters done. Um, these are really annoying me. I don't know why they're not fitting properly. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, who cares? I think I want to try and put my blushes and bronzers in this drawer. There are some highlighters in here as well. I'll take them out and reorganize. Um, but I'd like to see if I can just store all of my blushes and bronzers like laying flat like this. So I'm going to have a play.
I am not particularly happy with face palettes being here so I may end up putting them in their own separate drawer because having them stacked like this I just can't see them um, this is also annoying me why are you doing that look that will do stopped recording but I don't know when um, okay so this is this is what highlighters are looking like at the moment this is so like this is enraging me I don't mm, is it because no it's not it doesn't even make sense I don't know I'm not gonna fuck with it because things are gonna go pear-shaped like they currently are oh my god get back in your home can't deal with you right now oh my god please stop please stop okay that will do um that will do I just have to accept that these are gonna look a bit wonky but this is cool um I'm pretty happy to have this stuff stored this way even though you can't really see stuff and that might be a little bit um you know it might be contradicting how I like to store my eyeshadows but with my highlighters um I pretty much do know what everything is like okay I can't tell which one of these hourglass highlighters is what uh same with the physician's formula or Colourpop um even some like these ones of my mac um, and these ones, I wouldn't know which one's which, uh, but I can easily, I, I know in my head generally what is in each collection that I own. So it's not difficult for me to sort of slide them out and just have a quick look and go, okay, I, I know what's what and where everything is. So I'm really happy with this. So the other drawers uh, in this set are empty. I've got an empty one here, empty one here, and this is where I have my samples. Um, I will at some stage tackle my samples, maybe organize them a little bit better, but they will stay in these boxes because that helps keep everything neat rather than you can see there on the side I've chucked in a bunch of like random samples that have popped up recently um, and yeah when it's like that it's too messy but these boxes um, like I label them so there's like cleansers, bleh, cleansers, scrubs and makeup removers in that one so I have a bit of an idea of what's in them um, but I might tidy them up one day I don't I don't know if it'll make it into a video though. Let's get some cute cat action. Um, I'm going to wrap it up for the evening. I do need to show you guys some stuff that I decluttered from this chest of drawers. So I found some doubles of Colourpop shadows. I've got Paradox and Drift. Um, I'm going to see if a friend wants them. And I also had a double of the... Um, Wet n Wild Glitter. I know this was gifted to me, so I feel very guilty getting rid of it, but I can't have two, like I don't need two. So again, I'm gonna ask a friend if they would wanna try that. Um, and these are all uh, like magnetic, they're eyeshadows and face powders, like bronzers and highlights and blushes um, that go in a Ultra 3 compact you can like um swap them out and all that stuff i'm gonna get rid of them because i don't really reach for them i might keep this one because it would be good for setting an eyeshadow base it's just a matte cream but i think the rest i'm just gonna get rid of um 
Actually, mum even might like them. I've got the palette. If she wants it, she can have it. Okay, it's palette time today and the liquid lipsticks that are in this last set of Alex drawers. Um, that was the cat. He's been really, really cheeky. Really cheeky. Um, get these out. Oh, try not to break a nail. And we're going to start here. Excuse me, I don't bump the camera. 
So this is a little bit different to how I would usually organize my palettes. Um, any that fit in the shallow drawers, uh, I stand up or most of them I like to stand up. Now, what I used to do was I had, oh, actually I kind of, uh, I want to, I want to play with this a little bit more. Um, so what I used to do was kind of group them by size. So I'd have like bigger palettes down one end going down to shorter palettes and then I would put longer palettes here going down to shorter palettes so that I could fit double but it's great when it comes to minimizing how much storage you use um, but anything that's back here that is quite small so say something like this for example it gets lost back there and you I found that I just wasn't really seeing half of my palettes. So I figured this might be a better option since I do have extra space to play with. Um, and <clears throat> what I've done this time is I've grouped um, palettes by brand. So I've got like Bare Minerals, uh, It Cosmetics, these are um, Help Me, Lorac, uh, then I've got Zoeva. Um, solar look and inglot palettes then I've taken little palettes and I've just popped them back here they're laying down when I'm looking at the drawer open facing it I can see what palettes are back here um, so I've opted to go for that over the smaller drawers this is the next one uh, it contains Anastasia Beverly Hills, Too Faced, Urban Decay, and then Minis. So I've stuck in my Urban Decay Minis, my Too Faced Minis, NARS, Lime Crime, and this awesome little guy from Bali, which, look, I wish I'd got the whole collection of these because they were like three or four dollars each, and they are fantastic quality. Um, they're nice little travel palettes. Again, same thing. <clears throat> these ones are a little bit more little bit more jumbled. Uh, Kat Von D, this is uh, Melt, is it Melt? Yes. Um, this is Pat McGrath, I've got Sugar Pill, these are uh, Chi Chi palettes, I've got Smashbox, uh, Suva Beauty, this is a Makeup Revolution and Colourpop Singles. Then I've got some Urban Decay palettes here as well that are shorter um, and much fatter just by seeing this tiny little corner I know exactly what they are so I'm happy for them to be there got sleek palettes essence palettes Natasha Denona uh, Tude House and uh, Holika Holika then we get into the deeper drawer and you can see I've kind of done that thing where I have them gradiating down and then gradiating in the opposite direction uh, related to size. I've tried to group them a little bit. I've got Jeffree Star, Zoeva, Huda Beauty, Colourpop, uh, Too Faced, no, nope, Urban Decay, Too Faced, uh, and these are um, Help Me Tarte. Over here I've got Makeup Forever. This is a Z palette with random Makeup Geek shadows. Uh, I've got Lime Crime, Too Faced, Bare Minerals. Uh, this one is Besame, Ciate, uh, Pat McGrath. I've got two little yabby palettes here. Again, these are quite small. They only stick out a little bit, but I know exactly what they are just looking at them. I also have a MAC palette that I need to put in here. So I'm going to do that. Where will you fit? Actually, do I have enough space here to fit one in? No. Okay, well, you can go in there. Um, actually, let's put it there. Good. Uh, and then up here at the back, I have some smaller palettes to prevent my palettes from falling down. So I have a saffron palette, a still a palette, sorry, Suva Beauty palette, still a palette, and a little Morphe palette. Uh, they are just to offer support for these larger palettes so they don't fall down. I do have some more small palettes, um, something like 
these guys, really small. Um, I'm actually going to put them in one of the like six drawer units that's over here. Um, so I'll do that in a second. Now, I think it's worth mentioning that I have more Anastasia palettes. I have like, I have a bunch of palettes that I purchased um, that go back even to sort of like October, November, December last year. And because of the state of my makeup collection, not really being able to find anything. And also I suppose um, looking back on it now, I think it was very stressful uh, just not being able to find my makeup. So I kind of didn't even want to use stuff. Like I just wasn't inspired by it. But now I'm looking forward to not only using those palettes and trying them out, but then finding a home for them in these drawers as their like permanent position um, and slowly reorganizing the drawers as I go. I do have an empty drawer here, which will be large palette overflow. Um, and with the small palettes, small palettes is probably not the, the right word for it, but like the general sort of traditional size palettes, what I will do um, as I am adding more to my collection, which no doubt I will, I'm, I know I will, um, that's again when I will probably reorganize these in a way that they sort of gradiate down and then gradiate in the opposite direction so that I can fit more palettes in the drawers. But for now, I've got a bit of room to move, so I'm going to um, just go about using the drawers as I've set them out. Oh, hello visitor. Okay, so for little palettes at the moment, I'm just going to go with this. This is not ideal. It won't stay like this. Um, eventually, maybe all of my little palettes will go in this drawer and I will organize um, a better... Oh my god, you've got an eyelash stuck to your foot. Yes, you are a makeup lover's cat. Um, okay, so, uh, so yeah, this drawer, like it won't stay like this. Maybe I will add more smaller palettes to it as my other collection grows um, and I'll sort of, I, I have in my head that I would like to create like a partition sort of section that has um, sort of wider compartments where they can fit in like this individually. So almost like lipstick stacking um, as you saw in earlier clips, um, but for palettes basically but for now I'm not going to do that because I am kind of low on partition board and I am going to need it for liquid lipsticks if by any strange chance I do have an excess uh, of partition board when I'm done with this maybe I will come back and do that with these mini palettes but I really don't think that's on the cards uh, for this video but it just means maybe one day in the future I'll be doing another organization video, yay! So I've opened up this drawer again because, oh lordy, lordy, lordy. Okay, I found more face palettes. So I don't know what to do. This is, I have, I have a lot of face palettes. I really don't use them and you know why I don't use them? Because I forget that I bloody well have them. They're packed in my palette drawers and I don't find them. So I've got uh, two blush palettes and the rest, actually, three blush palettes and three contour palettes. So blush, contour. I don't really know where to put these, to be perfectly honest. I'm thinking they're only going to fit in here. Um, no eyeshadows. These were highlighters. Yeah, I think, I think the smartest thing is to put them in here for now. I will at least be able to see them. My hardest or the most difficult thing about having them in here is going to be remembering to open this drawer to actually potentially use them. Oh, I lied. There's another blush palette except this one. 
this one I want to go down here because I need to be able to see that because I love it what are you doing there is nothing oh my god he just the black hole he loves it what's in there mum what's in there come on I'm gonna close you in the drawer oh my god you're so heavy get off get off get off Cheeky bum. I do have a few things that I pulled out of my palette drawers that I'd like to get rid of. Um, as mentioned earlier in the video, this is the like magnetic palette for the Ultra 3 single shadows and blushes and stuff. And this is the Beauty, Cal the Beauty Killer palette that was repressed. I'm going to throw it away because it's messy. And uh, we ended up with one in the Jeffree Star um, mystery boxes that came out last year. Um, and I took it home. So there we go. I've got one of these. I don't need to keep a broken one. Again, I'm going to cut it off there guys because I still have quite a bit of footage to get through. Next time uh, it's going to be liquid lipsticks and um, I also do something with the false eyelashes that I have. Um, and I know I've got a little bit of extra footage that was just sort of like finalizing some stuff in the room um i don't know how much footage i've got of that i haven't imported it i haven't looked at it so we'll see we'll see how it goes but um let's finish up with a shot of the cat 